Welcome back to another episode of the Rob Poe Techniques, doing cool things with Photoshop and helping you learn how to take pictures. Today we're going to be working with PNGs. Now, the first thing that we're going to be doing today is looking at the picture as the background, picture as a JPEG, picture as PNG with background, and picture as PNG without the background on it. Now first, if we do picture as background, format background, go to picture, go to file, all done in photo in uh, Microsoft PowerPoint, and we're going to take the pickle guy. And there he is as the background. Very blurry, very out of date, you know, so it would be great if we could do it on the black background. So, first things first. Get your picture, open it up a new Adobe Photoshop file, and you're just going to edit and paste in, or you can do control V. So there's our first one, and we're going to do three different ways for you. Now, the first one, first thing is to erase with the magic wand the guy around here. Okay, so we're going to deselect, use the magic wand, helps us out a bit. Now you can use any tool that you want, magnetic tool, lasso, any of the lasso tools that you would like. I prefer the magic wand because it makes it easier, but in some instances, like I just showed you there, it does make it easier to use the poly to make sure everything's cleaned up. Okay, so we have this one, and we are going to save this file as a JPEG, just that, so that we can easily understand. I did some lessons before, so we're going to save it as a JPEG. Click OK, and we are going to do the same thing all over again, but instead we are going to save this one as a PNG. Now as you see the background and layer one, they're two separate. This way, this will definitely help us with creating the PNG. Control D to deselect the box that we have. and. We are going to save this one as a PNG back for the PNG with the background. Now, getting involved in the Rob techniques, let me add, is a very great idea and will help you tremendously, especially for beginners, whether it be playing around with pictures or learning how to take those pictures. Now, finally, let's take the magic wand and once again, Control D. Polygon, use the different selection tools, delete it, control D. All right, now, as you see right here, we have layer one and background. We're going to take the eye off the background, and the pickle is on a checkered background. You're not going to see this. It does not exist. So you're going to save this one as just regular APNG and save it as, of course, a PNG. Click OK. Now go back into your PowerPoint. Picture as a JPEG. What would happen here? Now, anytime we want to save it as a JPEG, whether you close the eyes or not, it will still come out with this white box. Now, picture as PNG with the background, insert, picture, PNG with the background, and it still comes out with the white box. Now the file format of PNG with this one here without the background, now that we hid the eye and we saved it as a PNG with the eye hidden, it will not come out. So insert, picture, a PNG and you'll see just the pickle. Now just to prove this to you guys, right now we have picture as PNG because some of you may be saying, what if we close the eye? So let's go back to this guy, close the eye on him, save as new JPEG, and let's see what happens. New JPEG. See how automatically, as soon as we save that as a new JPEG, even though we took it off, it gave the layer back the white. So, 
we insert picture, go to new JPEG, and there he is. The white came back even though we closed the eye. Well, I hope that helped you learn a little bit about PNGs and helping you realize how to delete the background off images in Photoshop and transport them into other programs. I hope you have a marvelous day and stay tuned for more Rapo techniques with Mike and Steve. Have a great day.